Well, we told you at the end of Wednesday's episode that we would be joined by a special guest today, and we have him on the line right now. So joining us is recently eliminated Tough Enough star Mata. You can follow him on Twitter at Tough Mata. Mata, thank you for joining us today. And, you know, you've had a few days now to kind of digest everything that happened on Tuesday night. And I'll get to that in a second, but... I want to start off by asking you about your time at Tough Enough. You know, you got to do some pretty cool things over the past few weeks. You got to work in, you know, a little bit on your in-ring ability. You got to do uh, promo battles, which you thrived in. You got to do your own ring entrance, and you were the Pharaoh, which was a very cool and creative character that I would love to see in the WWE one day. Um, you know, you also got to meet guys like Seth Rollins, Bad News Barrett, Cesaro, and of course, Hogan, Brian, Jericho, and Paige. Uh, you also got your chest slap on a big show, so it's been a pretty interesting few weeks. So, tell me what this entire experience has been like for you. Amazing. I mean, definitely a once-in-a-lifetime experience from meeting these people that I've looked up to my entire life. You know, I grew up watching these guys and... It was just like a surreal, you know, just sitting there talking to, wow, am I really like, you know, just hanging out with Booker T or, you know, talking to the big show, you know, it was just surreal. And the challenges were insane. I, I, could, I never thought I would do in my life, you know, from the swamp challenge, swimming with alligators to climbing high ropes and all kinds of things. And definitely the ring stuff, you know, we got to do some pretty cool stuff in the ring and the promos, the entrance challenge and you know, everything about that experience, you know, I'm going to cherish for the rest of my life. Yeah, you know, it's really unfortunate to see you go because, in my opinion, you were one of the best, if not the best, on that show. But, uh, you know, you get put in the bottom three to the surprise of everyone. And uh, just tell me how shocked you were to be in there with Amanda and Zizi and how confident were you in your chances of actually surviving? What was going through your mind at that point? I was, I was shocked because I had... You know, I would have never thought I would have been in the bottom three. I thought I've been doing very well. And as you said, I thought I was one of the strongest, if not the strongest competitor. And I was just in shock that he put me there. And, you know, going up against ZZ and Amanda, I know ZZ's got a huge fan base. Basically, anybody that goes up against ZZ is eliminated. Uh, so, but I know Amanda, I know I had her beat. I know my fan base is a lot bigger than hers. So I was confident at that point, uh, but then when Miz went ahead and saved her, that's when I knew I was in trouble. Uh, hey, Mata, this is Brian Sinek, the host of the Royal Rumble podcast. Listen, I got to ask you, man, what do you think everyone sees in ZZ? Because, you know, this is his fourth time in the bottom three, which is more than anyone besides Sarah Lee. But what about him do you think keeps him on the show week after week? Uh, I've been asking the same question, to be honest. But what I think they see is some themselves. Uh, they see a guy that, you know, he's he's David, you know, where I'm Goliath. He, they see an average man, an average Joe, uh, that, you know, is up there on the biggest stage of the world. And plus, he's, you know, he's a very funny character. He's actually a great guy. You know, I love ZZ as a person. Uh, personally, I don't think he's cut out for the WWE, and I don't think he wants it. Uh, but I think people see, you know, as a fun loving guy and, you know, a lot of times I hate to say it, but it's like almost sympathy votes that, you know, they feel bad for him sometimes. And, uh, but he definitely does have a huge fan base. We're talking to Tough Enough star Mata. You can follow him on Twitter at Tough Mata. Mata, what are your thoughts on this whole Hulk Hogan controversy that's going on? And the reason I ask this is because, you know, it seems like Hulk was one of your biggest fans on the show. And it's, and it's unfortunate that he isn't there anymore because if he was there this past week, you might not have even been in the bottom three in the first place. And even if you were, there's a good chance he probably would have used his save on you. So... Uh, would you say this Hulk Hogan mess has had an impact on you? And if so, what kind of impact does it have? I, you know, it, it's, it's hard to tell because, you know, uh, it's like a what-if situation, but it's definitely disappointing. Uh, but again, you know, I got to, you know, you have to always back the WWE with their decisions, you know. Uh, they're big on diversity and, you know, rightfully so, because otherwise people like me, you know, I'm from Egypt, uh, you know, for me to be on the show and just showing their diversity and, you know, people from different backgrounds and ethnicities uh, in the WWE. Uh, so you definitely uh, definitely back them up on, you know, their decision, whatever it may be. 
Uh, hey, Mahana, uh, do you feel like the format of Tough Enough sh- of the Tough Enough show is unfair? I mean, I know you said after you were eliminated that nothing in life is fair, but the show has never been this way in the past. This format is brand new. So, what is your opinion on the fans voting? Uh, that's a that's a tough one. Uh, I mean, technically, you know, if the fans want to see ZZ in the WWE, they you know, it's all about the fans. There will there would be no WWE if there are no fans. Uh, but at the same time, sometimes the fans don't realize the reality of everything. And and that's why, you know, at Tough Talk, I, I exposed them a little bit. And I don't know if you guys have seen the latest videos on the Tough Enough page uh, where, you know, Billy's just fed up with him, Booker's fed up with him, and they're starting to expose him for who he really is, you know. He's putting zero effort in all of this, you know. Yeah, he's got a fake workout and diet videos, but he's told me personally, you know, he doesn't care about the WWE. For him, it's just another thing he's doing. He's just there to get exposure, and, you know, he's got stuff lined up for after the show. Uh, so it's just, I wanted the fans to realize the truth so they can stop voting for him, because for me, I was upset that, you know, he was lying to the WWE universe about all of this, that he wants this and he's working towards it. Yeah, it's far. It's a far cry from the truth. Where guys like me and Josh work the gym every day, busting our asses, you know, and you know we're we're dieting hard. We're keeping our physique in check, and we give every single ounce of energy we had to that show. Uh, where on the other end, he was laid back. He's been in the bottom three almost every single week, and he might as well just have a permanent place there because you know he's there every week, but nobody can knock him off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I definitely feel your frustration on that one. Uh, you know, Mana, you have the entire package. You know, as, as Hulk Hogan has said and as Paige has said, too, you're a star, man. And it's obvious to everyone that you want this. You know, you have the drive, the passion, the physicality, the athleticism, and you have the look. And that's that's one of the most important things. And, you know, your promos are outstanding. Your in-ring work is solid. So with that being said, do you feel like you have any weaknesses? I mean, is there anything that you feel like you need to work a little bit harder at? Uh, for me, you know, I really believe that I have the whole package. The last remaining piece of the puzzle is just continuing to v- develop my in-ring skills. Uh, I'm new to wrestling, so but I'm picking it up very fast. You know, I'm, I had no days off as soon as I, you know, got eliminated. I was back in the gym. I'm actually going to train with Patrick tomorrow. I'm in D.C. right now with family, and I'm going to Maryland to meet up with Patrick to get into the gym, his wrestling gym, and work out there. Uh, because for me, I want to get better. I want to be the best I can be in the ring because I know I'm great with my promo skills, my speaking ability, my passion, my drive, my look, everything. I have everything. That, this is the last piece of the puzzle. And, you know, that's why hopefully I'm, you know, trying to make my way back to the performance center because it's a state of art facility with the best coaches in the world. And that's where I want to be and learn from the best so I can be the best. Now, Mata, has there been anybody that has reached out to you after your elimination like did you contact with like booker t or any current superstar i mean is there anyone that has reached out to you after your elimination i mean definitely uh the coaches you know told me just go relax with my family and you know uh you know after you know a week or so you know kind of contact start contacting people and seeing you know what my options are uh and I'm definitely, you know, going to pursue those options. Uh, and I'm having no days off, whether they work out or not. I'm, con- I'm going to continue to pursue it because I will end up back in Orlando soon, hopefully. And uh, I will be in the WWE one day because my passion is there. I want this more than anything in the world. I believe I have what it takes. And, you know, now i got a taste of it. You know, i got a taste of being in front of the crowd on Monday Night Raw. I can't wait to get back there. And next time I want to be in the ring. Yeah, uh, definitely, and I, I have full confidence that we will see you in there one day. Uh, mm-hmm. Mata, has, is there, like, who have you looked up to in the WWE, you know, growing up, or, you know, when did you realize that you actually wanted this? Was there somebody, you know, like a specific superstar or legend that gave you the motivation to want to be a pro wrestler? I grew up watching many guys. Definitely, I loved The Rock growing up. Uh, definitely just his persona and his presence it was amazing. And Batista was one guy I loved. Uh, Batista was the first guy I saw. That's when I wanted to start lifting weights. I saw his physique and I was like, wow, that guy's a beast. Uh, and that's when I fell in love with lifting weights. And I've always wanted 
to be in the WWE. I just never knew how. Uh, I grew up in New Zealand, so we didn't have any wrestling there or anything. And I played basketball my whole life, played college professionally. And after I stopped playing, you know, I got married two years ago. Uh, now we're living out in L.A. And everybody that sees me, they're like, man, you should be in the WWE. And, you know, for me, it was like, yeah, that's great, but I don't know how I would love to be. And then when I got the call and this opportunity came up with Tough Enough, it was just like, it was like meant to be kind of thing. Uh, and, and now that I got a taste of it and I got the experience, I'm definitely not going to let go now. All right. Uh, last question, Mata. Uh, we know you're eliminated from Tough Enough, but are you still watching the show? And if so, who do you think is going to win Tough Enough? Oh, yeah, definitely going to still watch the show. Uh, I think for the guys, I think Josh is going to win. Uh, I Hopefully he wins and uh, ZZ's fans start to realize the reality of things. Uh, I think Josh has the more complete package compared to the other two. I think Tanner's a great athlete, just needs to work a lot on his personality and speaking skills, his promo skills. Uh, ZZ needs a lot of work in terms of his physicality, and I don't think he really wants it. Uh, for the girls, I think Gigi's going to win. I think she brings the best overall package. Uh, between personality, she's got the personality, she's nice, but she has that switch, you know, uh, as you saw in the entrance challenge, she can be, you know, a different character. And her physicality is there, so I think those two are going to be the winners out of the remaining competitors. Hey, Mata, one more thing. What do you think of a match, a future match between you and The Miz? Is there any legit beef oh. there? Because... You should not have been eliminated if it wasn't for him. Oh, yeah. I uh, I told everybody up here that's going to be my first match. I'm going to mark that one on my calendar. Uh, that's that's the goal, you know. Nothing personal, but uh, i gotta, I got to get some payback. You know what I mean? <laughs> and yeah. I know the fans really would love it. I tweeted that, and it got a bunch of reactions. Everybody wants to see it. Oh, absolutely. We well, would definitely see it. You can follow him on Twitter at Tough Mata and follow his entire journey to the WWE. Mata, thank you so much for being so cool and coming on with us today. We really appreciate you taking the time, and we wish you the best of luck, man. We're rooting for you, and we cannot wait to see you out there in a WWE ring one day. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to be there. Thank you guys for uh, all the support. Thank you for having me on the show today. And I just want to say I love all my fans. Thank you for the support. Um, this is just the beginning. I promise you that. All right. All thanks, right. So thanks so much, Mata. That was WWE Tough Enough star Mata. Unfortunately eliminated from the show this past week, but I don't think, like he said, this is the last we've seen of him. So hopefully a NXT developmental contract is in his future.